Amber is one of nature's gems. Ambers are interesting because they can contain creatures and plants formed millions of years ago. They have also been used in jewelry for a few thousand years. You might have thought that amber comes from tree saps. Actually, it is created from resin. The difference is that sap transports nutrients around the tree, while resin is semi-solid and acts as a defense response for the plant's immune system. When the tree has a wound, like a broken branch, or if it is attacked by insects or fungi, it exudes the thick resin that plugs up the injury and prevents further damage. It seals and sterilizes the injury. When resin is secreted, it's not certain that it will be turned into amber. More often than not, it gets weathered away. First of all the resin needs to be chemically stable, and not degrade over time. It has to be resistant to sun, rain, extreme temperatures, and microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. There are two types of resin produced by plants that can fossilize. Terpenoids are produced by gymnosperms, conifers, and angiosperms. They are composed of ring structures made from isoprene, C5H8, units. Phenolic resins are only produced by angiosperms. An extinct type of trees called medullosans produced another unique type of resin. The next factor is that the resin needs to be in the right conditions to fossilize. Young amber could be transported in seawater, it floats, and then buried under sediment to fossilize. In the Baltics, glaciers knocked down many trees and buried them, allowing them to fossilize. Wet clay and sand sediments preserve resin well because they don't contain much oxygen, and the sediments eventually transform into rocks. Intense pressure and temperatures cause the resin to become a solid orange gem. First molecular polymerization forms copal, young amber, and then the heat and pressure drive out terpenes and complete the amber transformation. Most amber found is about 30 to 90 million years old, though it's not sure how long the process to turn resin into amber actually takes. The oldest amber discovered is from the Upper Carboniferous, 320 millions of years ago. Most amber is from pine trees or other conifers, though there are a variety of trees that they can come from. However, most amber is from extinct species because the resin was exuded so long ago.